walking around a refugee camp, you just see rows and rows of tents. The trauma that these people have experienced is just so severe and life-consuming. So I'm bringing dance to this refugee camp as a therapy tool. This camp is filled with refugees who have had to flee their homes because of ISIS. This displacement has really just taken everything, including their will to even try because of the hopelessness that comes from being a refugee. I'm studying dance at Bellhaven University, but I've always been really interested in how dance can be taken off the stage. And that's when I really began to see a greater scope with dance and that maybe it could be used for something more than just myself. When this opportunity came about for me to volunteer at the center as a dance teacher, I really just couldn't resist. These children's desire to move is so great. They just took the class and there was laughter and smiles immediately, regardless of language barriers. We use a lot of motion and a lot of pointing and arrows and directions and we communicate with our bodies. Dance is this really amazing vessel for which healing can take place because it involves physicality and connecting with yourself and your body. That's kind of a missing piece. There's a lot of focus on your mind and your thoughts and your emotions and then sometimes the body is left out. Sometimes we label refugees as refugees and that's all that they are, but they have the same needs that you and I have to be creative and to move and to breathe and to engage with their humanity. I think having a creative outlet within a camp is so necessary because it's not only fulfilling those needs for food and shelter, but also fulfilling that need for them as human beings.